happy to be peed on. I don't know why it's striking me. It's so amusing. Uh, it doesn't smell, which is the nice bit. Orangutans show such devotion to their young. This, to me, is yet another piece of evidence of how close we are to them. This day has been one of the best days of my entire life. And I think Huey's had a nice day playing with my face. Oh, he's going to sleep. It's like having a little baby. He's going to sleep. I don't think I realized how dependent little baby orangutans are. And um, they spend so much physical contact with their mother that obviously, you know, Huey's four months old and he doesn't have a mommy anymore, so he's very um, in need of tactile affection. And right now, he looks as much like any baby that I've ever seen. All asleep and cuddly. And all peed out. It's after lunch and all the kids that are old enough go outside to play as these guys are. And then the little babies have a nap. It's kind of what this is reminding me of. Because they're running around playing, causing ruckus, having a good time. And all the little babies are just hanging out, resting. Maybe it's the extraordinary amount of love an orangutan receives in its first few years helps explain how it achieves the strength of spirit to survive a solitary life later on. It's hard to say my goodbyes at Camp Leakey. You talk to me. I have kiwi for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Oh. Oh. It's holding on. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Mm. I'd never forget Huey. But I had to move on. I had one more goal to achieve before my journey ended. I wanted to meet the real loner of the forest, the majestic but forbidding adult male orangutan. Fearsome male is the source of most of the myths about orangutans. Glimpsed through the forest, it is easy to mistake for a kind of half-man, half-beast. I had heard that there was a huge male in this area, a 400-pound creature called Kusasi.
This is Kasassi, and he is the, the dominant male of this area in the forest where we are. And he's enormous. Kasassi. Okay, I'm a little scared. I'm okay. <laughs> Hello. Perhaps at this point I should have walked away, but I was so convinced he wasn't interested in me. Cassassi lives entirely by himself. And uh, as fascinated as I am with him is about <laughs> as oblivious he is to me. has quite a long beard, a little smelly. So, an interesting turn of events this afternoon, um, which actually I'm feeling strangely complimented by Mr. Cassassi. <laughs> we'll call him Mr. from now on. Um, that as we were sitting together on the path when he finished his apple, um, he, uh, you know, he was coming closer to me, um, and I and I was a little bit uh, nervous because he's so enormous and the closer he got to me the smaller I felt and he sort of reached out to me and the interesting thing is that um, I knew that he didn't want to hurt me that he just sort of wanted to play with me like I was a doll or you know carry me off and have a smooch or something so it seemed a little out of hand and as scared as I was um, I knew his intentions were um, playful and so I think that he paid me a compliment he's just a little too strong to pay that particular compliment to me and uh, and I'm and I'm fine and sort of completely overwhelmed and I feel like I had the most intense encounter that a person could ever have and I'm sure there are people that deserved that encounter more than me that have probably spent years in the jungle looking for a close, intense encounter with an orangutan, and I got mine today. So I'm thrilled and, and uh, a little freaked out, but, um, but it was fine, and, and he's fine, and I'm fine, and, and there you have it. Pretty exciting stuff. It's remarkable to think that baby Huey, who had clung on to me for dear life, will one day be as big as Kusasi. We can only hope the forest survives long enough for him to grow up and take over from this magnificent creature. Kusasi may live for 50 years and will spend almost all of his time alone. This is what separates us from the orangutan, for although we find the idea of the loner romantic, most of us would find it purgatory. But Kusasi seems happy with only his thoughts for company and is content with himself in a way we'll never truly know. It's Kusasi's secret, and he's not telling.